Son supreme throne of the ancient of days and of the lamb who take it away the sins of the world 
be unto you all. As we commemorate the suffering, death, and resurrection of he who is the way, the truth, and the life, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I bless his name, whose very existence transcends time, and his knowledge surpasses human understanding. I glorify the Father of all creations, the supreme light of the universe who created the world and ordered the course of events in the universe. I thank him for sending his only begotten son into the world to suffer and die for the redemption of man. Therefore, on this day, having made you heirs of salvation by the reason of his suffering, death, and resurrection, I, the King of kings and Lord of lords, by the authority of the soul spiritual head of the universe, bring you divine assurance of the Christhood, that you may have the right, despite your sinful nature, to bear the image of Christ and guarantee the permanence of your election by grace. I bring you divine assurance today that you may have the hope of eternal salvation. Be assured that Alumva's promise is, is ever sure. He is the Father, He is the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He will never leave you comfortless. All his promises to you must come to pass. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It was for the sake of humanity that the Son of God Most High was despised and rejected by the earth men, that they which are his own may gain salvation. He became a man of sorrow, that sorrows may depart from the elect of God. He was pierced for the transgressions of men. He was crushed for the iniquities of man. His wounds brought healing to the world, and his death and resurrection made possible made possible the establishment of the kingdom of God on earth. His suffering and death over 2,000 years ago serves as a pointer to the depth of God's, to the depth of God's love for man. It reminds humanity of the humility and passion of Christ and his works of redemption, which has end man eternal salvation. Sadly, today, man in his actions has refused to show remorse and has consistently refused to exemplify the love of Christ. The indifference and hatred among people of races, nations, religious organizations, and the battle for supremacy by one Christian creed over the other are clearly in contrast with the reasons for his death. It is because man has not fully exploited the salvation offered free by reason of his suffering and death on Calvary and the outpouring of his precious blood that the ancient of this has come down again with his everlasting kingdom to redirect the derailing man on the path of righteousness and love and reconcile him with God. I therefore register my immense appreciation to him 
for establishing his eternal kingdom on earth as promised. And out of his love made you all partakers in the glory of that same Christ who was arrested, tortured, and tried the same Wednesday night in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Having known that he, uh, his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ demonstrated the greatest act of humility and atonement by washing the feet of his disciples during his last supper with them. Through this very act, he taught mankind the lessons of humility and service towards fellow men and instructed all his followers to show love to one another so the world may know that they are his disciples. The entire Christendom have lost touch with the lessons, lessons accruing from this act of humility. It is saddened to know that all those who claim to be followers of Christ, rather than teach man the true essence of Christianity, are more interested in carving out religious empires for themselves, and no one cares to exemplify Christ in humility and meekness. It is for this reason that the Holy Spirit, who is the greatest teacher, have continually washed the feet of his children every year to serve as a constant reminder to man uh, of the need to emulate the humility of Christ and remain clean, remain clean in spirit and in truth. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear children, yes. rejoice for the hidden things of the kingdom of God has been made known to you. The patriots and prophets of old have come back in this generation, and all the disciples of Christ are here for wherever the carcass is, there also shall the vultures gather. As the Son of Man has come in the glory of the Ancient of Days, so also have the saints of old and all those who walk with him gathered that they may be glorified in line with his promise. This explains why it has pleased me to carry out this exercise to further affirm my unquantifiable love for you and my children. For you, my children. Through this exercise, I have atoned and sanctified all my children and cleanse you all from, in, from all iniquities, sorrow, anguish, and from all sins. <coughs> you have been made clean. Do not soil yourself again. Today I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, that whatsoever you shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today you, on whose foreheads I printed his new name, Olumba Olumba Abu, have now seen salvation and the glory of Christ. It is now left for you to imbibe the principles of humility, service to mankind, and love which, which uh, the reenactment of the washing 
of the disciples' feet represent. This is the essence of this exercise, that the sacrifice of Christ on the cross because of man may not be in vain. My dear children, I have come with my host of angels and crowns to give to everyone out of my divine love, mercy, and grace. So rejoice therefore, for the Savior is not on his way, but is already in your midst. Amen. You all have been called unto salvation and given to me from my Father, the sole spiritual head of the universe. I will continue to keep you in my arms and under my canopy will I secure you against the cloudy days in which I have instructed my angels to be prepared against. For until the world returns to humility, love and selfless service to mankind, which this exercise represents, it will not know peace. And until humankind recognizes the need for brotherliness in all affairs, they shall remain denied of my salvation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear children of promise, it is also not a coincidence that today is also the Universal General Fellowship our uh, all-knowing father established the general fellowship to coordinate the activities of other fellowships in the kingdom i am very glad and happy with the various innovative drive put together in the universal universal general fellowship especially the inner religious conferences organized by the fellowship in recent times this is a step in the right direction as it is the duty of this fellowship to unite all religious bodies into one fold, that they may be one fold and one ship fold in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I acknowledge with profound gratitude all the selfless service you have rendered to him on the platform of this fellowship. I thank the international chairman of this fellowship, PCS Nsikak Ben, the secretary PCS Innocent Domini, and his team of executives for steering the affairs of this fellowship in the right direction. The fellowship is appreciated for the following. One, evangelism to Torubene in Delta State in January 2024, and all the activities done there, and the evangelical outing to Udupani in Cross River State in March 2024 in partnership with GABA. Two, the headship of the fellowship is commended for the efforts made so far towards the implementation of my divine directive that a mega, a mega evangelical outreach to be held in Abuja. The IOC chairman, His Grace Archbishop Nanamong, the LOC headed by her eminence, Gloria Asukwa, are also commended for all the efforts made so far towards organizing the event. Consequently, I have approved the following programs for the first ever edition of the Christ Universal General Fellowship Evangelical Outreach and International Convention and Retreat. Opening ceremony 
which will feature hosting of unit, uh, host, hosting of unity flag, speeches, entertainment, and father's advice and blessings at the BCS headquarters in Abuja. Inter-religious world conference. This will, all, all, this will form part of the BCS ecumenical outreach, which is to bring together all the religious organizations to promote inter-religious harmony, which is an essential need for the unification of God's family on earth. Extensive evangelical outing and courtesy calls to government functionaries and religious leaders within the FCT and other North northern states. Humanitarian services. Unity procession within the capital city of Abuja to create awareness on the essence and importance of unity in the human family. Open air healing service, musical evangelical outreach, TV and radio, and radio media interactive outreach, Christ Universal General Fellowship International Retreat and Convention. Special awards for hardworking members of CUGF in various states of, of uh, and nations. It should be noted that during this event, the Holy Fathers have commissioned the newly uh, built Pape Bethel in Abuja. I bless and equipped the fellowship and all my children in Abuja for a successful outing to the glory of the God of brotherhood of the cross and star. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I have gone through the reports from states and nations and from fellowships as submitted by the leadership of the General Fellowship. And I acknowledge with profound gratitude all the selfless services you have rendered to him. Know that all your contributions towards the development of this everlasting kingdom of God has earned you my eternal blessings. I, the Son of Man and Son of God, have guaranteed your liberty from all forces of darkness and have given you eternal salvation in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. On this note, I have approved the following as State Chairman of the Christ Universal General Fellowship in Nigeria. One, Katsina State, Bishop Asukwa Benjamin. Two, Kaduna State, Bishop Joe Smith, Kanu State, Bishop Imejon Akpan, Four, Boronu State, Blessed Mother Grace Emperor Williams, Five, Adamawa State, Bishop Ubi Ofem, Six, Benue State, Christ Ambassador Elemi Johnson. Eight, Niger State, Pastor Ndifrek Akwere. Nine, Nasarawa State, Bishop Godwin Iwok. Ten, Abuja FCT. Her Eminence Gloria Sukwa. 11, Kwara State Evangelist Matthew Ita. 12, Oyo State Pastor Joshua Clement. 13, Oshun State Christ Ambassador Ekerete Udo. 
14 on those date, Bishop Ejelonu Ogu, 15 Lagos State, Christ Ambassador Enon Keruwem, 16 Kogi State, Bishop Joseph Oluron Femi, 17 Delta State, Bishop Obong Davis, 18 Edo State, Christ Ambassador Basi Vitam, 19 Aquaibum State, Bishop Emmanuel Akpan, 21 River State, Bishop Daniel Wankwa, 22 Bayesa State, Archbishop Nay God knows. 23, Cross River State, Her Eminence, Dorothy Bassey. 24, Ebony State, Pastor Samuel Nkata Emetu. 24, Enugu State, Christ Ambassador Edith Akpan. 26, Abia State, Christ Ambassador Eme Ogeli, 27, Anambra State, Christ Ambassador Michael Obika Odumkwe, Odumunkwe, 28, Imo State, Bishop Darlington J. Bishop Darlington I. Osuji, 29, Ogun State, Christ Ambassador Etienne Ekbo Emmanuel. My dear children, as you are aware, the divine assurance of the Christ should event has already commenced. The host of angels have already descended and the father of all creation is ready to perform great wonders among the human family. Note that the physical enactment of the divine assurance of the Christ should event is not for jamboree, but a complete spiritual exercise that calls for absolute repentance by the elect of God. It is, it is the crowning of the hopes and aspiration of all those who believe in Christ. This event is a demonstration of my unimaginable love and infinite mercies to all those who believe in my new name. Therefore, to all those who believe and sincerely call on the name Olumba, Olumba, Obu, your years of wandering in the wilderness of sin has ended. Amen. This event shall reinvigorate you with my Holy Spirit and make you one with me, for the promises of our God is fulfilled. Amen. He is dwelling physically in our midst, and the time has therefore come for God to wipe away all tears from your eyes Amen. and take away death. Sorrow, Amen. crying, Amen. or pains Amen. away. Amen. For the former things have passed away, Amen. and everything has been made new Amen. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear children, yes, 
Be assured that I am forever by your side. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad for, like I said in the holy books, even so, I make bold to re-echo to you, my chosen children, that those whom I have called, same shall I not let go. They shall remain to me, beloved sons and daughters, and to them I shall remain their God. Do not worry about anything. Just put your faith in Father Olumba Olumba Obu and practice his injunctions for all will be well with you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let my perfect peace and blessings abide with you all for now and evermore. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I said, thank you, Father. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh. Three happy chairs to the Holy Spirit. First is all is. All is. I am chairman. It is a pupurum po fanama. Pupurum po fanama. And the Father now invites the chairman to his holy white throne for the envelope of the evening or of the night morning. And her eminent Sozoa has since collected an envelope displayed to the entire world and feeling happy, walking dexterously to the high table that the sons and women of, of God should raise the Father's envelope. What do you say to our Father? Thank you, Father. Again. Thank you, Father. Again. Having done with that segment, now let's look out for the next one.
Love, brethren, please know that tomorrow is Thursday. Is a day the Father has fixed for the sacred visit of historic places and sacred places. 26 Mbokba and Eton. It's one of those places. Thank you, Father. We call on the total silence. A disciple, oh God. You know it today, right? Okay. I want to hear from you now. Petra Christ Shepherd Oga Osim Father wants you on stage. Yeah, you'll be next after Oga. And then the Pali body will speak last. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, in the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. now and forevermore. Amen. Our beloved Most Holy Father, we stand before you acknowledging our sins, having offended in various ways and means, but we thank you this moment for your righteousness is greater than our sins and iniquities. And once you are involved in any situation, it is obvious that you transform such situation to meet your standard. Come here. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your blessings and forgiveness. And we thank you, Heavenly Father, for the honor you've bestowed on us to serve you also as disciples in the new kingdom, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for sustaining this set of disciples for the past two years and for all that you have been using your disciples to accomplish in the kingdom. Father, upon the selection of the current set two years ago, it was resolved among the disciples that our operational code of conduct will be tack when Olumba say you move, you move. When he says stop, you stop. We completely decided that we will not develop any program for ourselves but we do only that which the Holy Father directs us to do. And the disciples will also endeavor to be physically present anytime the Father is physically on the throne. Even if it is one or two persons, they must carry out the assignment expected of others. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for you have used your disciples in two different perspectives, collectively and individually.
Collectively, Heavenly Father, the, within the year under review, it pleased you that your disciples should embark on some highly spiritual exercise such as the uh, uh, unity feast, peace feast in Bayelsa State, Aquaibom State Unity Feast. Your children also, by your mandate, were assigned to Sapele during the commissioning and sanctification of that battle. The disciples also were assigned to Orebete in Ondo when we had a situation that almost disintegrated the born of the children of God. But through your disciples, those that were demoralized due to the situation, their faith were restored, and the situation which could have served as an embarrassment physically to some of the father's children was arrested in the name of 